Hello everyone, welcome to the Teeny Magic. I've got another um, tutorial for the Devil's Elevator card trick. I know I've done it before, I'm just doing it again with a better camera. Okay, so we've got the 2, the 3, the 4 and the 5 of clubs here in my hand. And then we've got these 4 red cards. Um, there's nothing else. I'm not actually holding any cards like that. There's nothing. Okay. Just these cards. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our red cards and put them down there. And I'm going to show you, look, in my hand I've got the two, the three, the four, and the five of clubs. Two, the three, the four, and the five. Now we're going to take the five, the four, the three, and we're going to keep the two, the two on top of this pack. Okay. And now, we're going to get the two here, put it in the second position as it's a two, close them up, give them a little shake, now the two has come to the top. Okay, um, now we're going to do the same, we're going to get the three, put the three in the third position there, give it a shake, now the three has come to the top. Alright, so now I'm going to show you, we've only got red cards in my hand, and um, we're going to take the four, the four in the fourth position there, give that a little shake, and then let's come to the top. Okay, look, we've got four cards. I'm going to show you again. They're all red. And now we're going to take the five. It's the last card, the five. Put it right, right at the bottom of them all, look. Close it up. Give it a shake. And now the five has come to the top. Okay, um, that was the Devil's Elevator trick. I'm going to show you the perform the tutorial now. Uh, you only need these cards. There's no duplicates or anything. It's just them. I'm using the Dead Eyes cards, same as the original tutorial. Um, um, okay, so what you d you is you need the two. The three, this is the setup, it's just the two, the three, the four, and the five, and then the four red cards. I use, if, I use the sixes and the nines, you can use, if, if you can, you can use sevens and fours, you can just, you can use any different red cards as you want, but it's better if you have four of the same card, because then they can, okay, can't catch the Elmsley counts. I mean, it's hard to with the dead eyes, because they've got so much blood and grit and stuff on them, but, you know, that's just, I don't know. Um, okay, so what you do is you say, I'm going to take the red cards and put them down there, but you're actually only putting three of the red cards down. You're keeping one red card in the bottom of all of your club's cards. So you put them there, and take the red cards, and just put them down there. Okay, so the red cards are down there. Now in your hand, you've got the two, the three, the four, and the five of clubs, and your six or whatever red card you've got left. Um, then you want to do this, that you go, I've got the two, the three, the four, and the five. But under the five, look, is the six, but you don't want to reveal that. So that stays there, and you're holding that with your two fingers, and you go like that. Then you go reverse it back, four, three, two. Now you turn them over. You say you're going to put the five down, but it's actually the six the red card, then you go the four down, it's actually the five, and the three down, and it's actually the four, but then you've got two cards in your hand, the two and the three, and you say this is the two, it's actually the two and the three, saying it's just one card, and you put that on top of all the reds. Now, you know, look, so you've got that, so you've got the two on the top, I mean, sorry, the three on the top, and then you want to put the three in the second position, but say it's the two, so you say I'm going to get the two, put it in the second position, give a little shake, and at the top automatically will be the two of clubs. It's quite a confusing like tutorial. It's, it's quite hard to do a tutorial which isn't confusing on this trick, really. I mean, it, it, it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. Um, so now you say, okay, we've got our red cards left, and we're going to get the three, 
put the three in the second position, look. I mean, the third position, but the three is actually at the top, look. The, what you're actually putting in is the four. So you see, you're going to get the three, put it in the third position, shake it. Now at the top is the three. Okay, now what you want to do is an Elmsley count. Um, here's a tutorial. I'll just put one on the Dead Eyes box. There's a tutorial for the Elmsley count on the Dead Eyes box, just there. Okay, so you're going to need the, the Elmsley account quite a lot, so click on the link. The link w which was on this box. So, oh god, the box falling over. Alright. Um, so, you want to click, you just click on that link because you need the Elmsley account for this. So, then you want to do an Elmsley account, uh, which is basically looks like that. I'll show you all I've read, but you've actually controlled the 4 to the top because the 4 before was in position for an Elmsley count. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy. Just an Elmsley count. And you got the 4 at the top. Now you want to um, say, we're going to get the 4, which is actually the 5, but the, f look, it's the 5, put the 5 in the 4th position. Shake it. And there you go. And the 4's at the top. Now you want to reverse all the cards. Just reverse count the 4 cards. And now do an Elm another Elmsley count. So then you control the 5 to the top. Because the 5, once you put that down, should be in a perfect position for the Elmsley count. So you just do an Elmsley count. So we've done an Elmsley count. Now we're going to say we're going to take the 5. As it's a 5, we'll put it right at the bottom. It's actually a red card which you're putting at the bottom. Put a final shake. And then the 5 has come to the top. Okay, so that was my tutorial on the Devil's Elevator. Hope it helped. Um, you know, just comment, rate, and subscribe. We really need some more comments at the moment. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.